Hey guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, then I have some fun videos for you. Please, I'm so sorry. I really, really, really try not to film when I have a cold. But um, yeah, I, I have some really exciting, fun little gift ideas specifically for this weekend. So we have no choice. Please bear with the horrible sounding voice. I'm actually like totally fine now I'm at the end of it, but I always sound worse when I feel better. And for the very long introductory, welcome to this video. Today, as I just said, there are some incredible, incredible, and honestly, I have some on my own personal shopping list, beautiful, fine jewelry pieces that are still fine jewelry, but pieces that are really perfect for this gift giving season. Even some of these brands have some sales going on right now, which is very rare in the fine jewelry industry. I'm even gonna talk about my own sale that's happening, especially during this entire weekend from Black Friday to Cyber Monday, regardless of whether you celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday or not here in America or, or worldwide. There are some incredible sales and we just have to admit that. And so starting off with one of my favorite brands that I like fully back and I love them so much, Catbird. You know, I don't know how exactly long it's going to be going, but they have an incredible sale right now. And there is a, there's, a, there's one piece that's been on my own mind, but also like truly for, I feel like every one of my friends needs it. I feel like my brother needs it. I feel like so many people need it. The coffee cup charm. Yes, very New York of me, truly, but like, come on. If you're a fan of New York, if you're a fan of coffee, if you're a fan of any combo or option of any of those things, this charm, like, are you kidding me? It's so cute. I remember, this was like, I think you guys can correct me at Capward if anybody knows Capward very well or works there, but. Capward came out with this adorable line of pendants just about five years ago, I think, or maybe a little bit less, but almost approaching on the five year mark, maybe in the spring. When I tell you I immediately bought multiple, I was obsessed. I had the little spider, I'm trying to remember, and I had the mushroom charm. I, like, they're so cute. It is so, so cute. And in addition to a couple of those little mini charms that I'm gonna also talk about in a second, the coffee cup, like as soon as they came out with that, I was like, you kinda can't deny how absolutely adorable it is. Also I have to say, I've seen, I love the snail in person. <laughs> I love the cannoli. Any of the ones with like a little pearl are so cute. Again, my little spider has a little pearl on it. It's just, it's just you kinda, you kind of just can't go wrong. It's so adorable. I've gotten so many presents, especially from my mom from Catbird. I love them so much. And I also randomly, lastly, I saw the little tiny, like it doesn't look like much online jewelry. Again, I always say take jewelry with a grain of salt. In product photography, I hate product photography in general, quite frankly. But the basket charm, oh my gosh, like photos do not do it justice. It's so cute. All of these catbird charms, like you kind of can't go wrong. Oh, and then from one of my other favorite brands who I've talked about a lot, because I love them so much, they were one of the first, not the first, but one of the first <laughs> fine jewelry brands that I sold as a retail sales associate. This was like eight years ago. Wake, oh my goodness, Brooklyn-based brand. They're so incredible. This is also a brand that I have gifted many, many times over. And there's one piece actually that like, I kind of have on my own list and it's, I think a lot of people maybe either love them and kind of like there's a staple piece of theirs or you might gloss over them really quickly. The wisp stick earrings or the stick wisp earrings, whichever the correct order is. These I kind of think I need. Like these are so, so pretty. And I know it's hard, like I know jewelry is a difficult thing to gift because you know, it's so personal. I feel it's just so personal. And I think like something like this, how could you go wrong with this? They're so pretty. We know that like earring layering is kind of all over the board right now, but something like this, I feel like could be completely timeless. I have very similar ones from Kathleen Whitaker, but these for some reason, of course it's me. So we know that I love like the little organic touches. It's just a little bit more like, Ooh, it's so special. Pretty much all of Wake's selection. They also do an incredible sale. I hope it's still going on 
one right now. They do an incredible sale this time of year and Wake is just like, will for I think forever be one of my favorite brands. And how can I do a fine jewelry video without subtly plugging my own brand, Layla Sophia Jewelry? I did this for the first time last year and I'm so excited. I think it's just gonna be a full-blown tradition here going forward. I am going to be doing a discount on all of the fine jewelry items, excluding, you know, special orders or pieces that you're looking to my custom, but everything on my website currently, which for fine jewelry is, you know, seldomly happens. And one other thing that I wanted to also show you guys is that my little objects, you guys know my incense holder is coming this next week, which I'm so, so, so excited about. But before then, I still have a few little objects and home objects that I'm so excited about and I'm kind of obsessed with. Our candle, I hope that that's coming off okay on the light. This smells so good. It's vanilla, oak, rose, and amber, like pretty much anything you think of me. It's in this candle. And in my other hand, what do you need for a candle? Ladies and gentlemen, yes, you need a lighter. You need some way to light it. And this is our lighter case. It's solid brass. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And it just fits a very kind of simple, original sized lighter. It's refillable. I am so obsessed. This is like the duo that you never knew you needed. I personally have mine right on my windowsill and she is such a vibe. And for another one of my whew, favorite brands, I just keep debating so I'm not gonna pick one exact favorite, but she's in my top three, Prunus. Oh my goodness, I know Prunus seems like a hard brand to put on a gift video because the prices rightfully so are, you know, up there in tier. However, I am here to tell you that there are indeed, and everything in kind of quotes here, there are some more kind of realistic options from Prunus if you're absolutely obsessed with her pieces like I am. And so from Prunus there are two items because I couldn't pick and I love them both and they're both very different. The Loris ring, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, something along those lines. I have seen these pieces and oh my goodness. Of course I'm gonna, I really love the diamond one, but they come in different stones. It's just like so subtle, but you're still getting that gorgeous, chunky, yummy 22 karat yellow gold. It's just, it's like, I feel like this is a quintessential piece of hers, along with the trade rings, along with the trade bangle. I feel like this is so prunus, this is so gorgeous. This on a pinky ring, oh my gosh, that would be stunning. And it feels like a ring that would be really nice and easy to gift, again, because I know jewelry is hard and I'll say it over and over again, just because it's so, like you don't know exactly what people's tastes are. And this is a perfect kind of like, I just feel like who wouldn't love this ring? And another piece of hers, oh my gosh, I was so excited when this released, first of all. You know, I can talk for days about how much I love her and her entire brand, but when she came out with this piece and like her whole color scheme, she has this gorgeous like vintage car that she named Fern because her whole color, branded color is like a green mossy fern color. It's kind of iconic. And to go along with some of the like really cool, more whimsical, objects that she has. She also has an incense holder that is so stunning. It's the same concept of a pair of earrings that she has and a few kind of motifs that she does. It's called the Nona incense holder and like, oh my gosh, I mean, how cute would this be? And like on your windowsill, on your vanity, on your dresser, Prunus, oh, she's just so incredible. You guys, I'm so excited to just announce something quickly, very briefly, again, interject my own self into my own video. Both of these designers can be found on finematter.com, which is my newest stockist of Layla Sophia jewelry. In, uh, like, I cannot even tell you what an incredible platform this is. They have like all, every one of my favorite designers. The first one being Lizzie Mandler, who again, like when I think of gifting jewelry, she is one of the designers that I think of. Her pieces are so, so special. I actually, I know a lot of clients will go for wedding bands of hers. I think she's known for her knife edge style. That's like what I think of when I think of Lizzie Mandler's pieces. But she also has some really, really beautiful kind of like, again, that more like, I never want to say entry level, but a more feasible cost, you know, price point of still fine jewelry. 
And this one piece, this little emerald necklace with a princess cut emerald, which I do love a princess cut stone. She also has a few options in a bracelet or a necklace, but I think just something about Again, we're thinking gifting, we're thinking things that will just like kind of seamlessly fit into someone's collection. And emeralds, first of all, is like a little bit different, but it's so beautiful, especially this time of year. I feel like there's something so special about rubies and emeralds. And a piece like this, you can like, if, if someone has never worn a necklace before, or if they layer up, it will go with any of those combos. And I can see this like so delicately placed on someone who isn't maybe used to layering necklaces but wants to start. This is the perfect base, beautiful piece. And lastly, you guys, oh my God, another one of my, who I, again, I say, I sound like a broken record and it's really hard for me to pick my favorite designers, but this is one for sure, Xiao Wang like speechless her pieces her spe her pieces are just so insanely gorgeous she has such a gorgeous range she, oh my gosh like she is like the best example of someone who designs for everyone and there is a gravity collection that like again it's kind of just so genius as a designer i'm like that's incredibly genius and very hard to do she still is taking the idea of like mismatched multi-shaped stones but like zooming in and making it on such a sweet, cute little ring. This ring, oh my God. Again, something that could just like, whether you're a person that you're looking to gift or you're looking to gift for yourself, whereas a thousand rings or none at all, this could like perfectly, perfectly fit and with anybody's collection. I love the little dangles. I love the mismatched stone. There's something so, oh my gosh, there's something just so special about her pieces and this ring in particular might even be on my own list. You guys, that has been my gift video of fine jewelry. As I talked about in my Black Friday video, I think it's like the perfect time right now during all of these insane sales to look ahead to holiday <laughs> gifts or if you're looking to give something for yourself because you know, we all deserve a little something. These pieces from some of my favorite, 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 favorite designers are just so, so beyond incredible. And I can't wait to hear your thoughts. As always, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.